Well, last year I didn't. Uh, I kind of knew it going into the year. I didn't. We didn't have the right personnel that was was very good for our system, and I and I knew that. And there was various reasons for it, but um, and so we just didn't have the right pieces. I didn't feel like, or enough of them. Uh, we were very very shallow in our depth and everything, and and uh, so what the biggest change we made was in personnel for this year. Um, we added some guys. We had some guys, a couple guys redshirting that are now playing. And I think that's, you know, the biggest reason. And this year's team compared to last year's is, is we've got more depth. We've got a little better shooters. We've got a little better inside presence. And, uh, you know, from that standpoint, we, we're just we're a better team. And it also is a bunch of guys that, that more fit our system on how we want to play. So I think that's the reason we're a little bit better than we were last year. No, I, I think it's good. I, I think for our conference, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to create a brand for our conference and a, a little better name and more recognition. And I think that's, you know, real conferences go and play neutral site tournaments and real conferences uh, invite their whole conference to go to the tournament. I just, I've always thought that's the way it should be, is especially getting everybody to the tournament. I think that's really important. And so I'm really pleased that uh, the conference decided to do that. And, and I think it's going to be exciting to go try neutral. You know, the way that we did it in the past, I thought it was very fair, and I think it was very well done. You you, you uh, reward the team that wins the league, um, but maybe now the next step is let's try to go to neutral. Let's get everybody involved. Let's have at it. Let's. I'm sure there'll be some kinks the first year, but they'll work them out. I think it'll make for a really exciting tournament. The men and the women are together over there. It's going to be a great week of basketball, and I think something that could really help uh, bring the big sky, get them some, get us some more attention. Uh, playing championship week with a full week of games, I think it could really help us. Oh, it's huge. You know, he's, uh, anytime you know that a guy is capable of getting 10 to 15 rebounds a game, it takes some pressure off your guys. The problem is when he's not in the game, we got to make sure somebody else understands he can, they can rebound. But, but no, it's, it's been huge to our team. And, you know, he's, uh, he works very, very hard at it. Joel takes a lot of pride in rebounding. Ever since he got here, he's always been a very good rebounder. Um, and he's just constantly, as his body's changed, his confidence has gotten better this year, uh, then he's uh, become a, even a better rebounder than he was when he first got here. But it's, it's huge to our team, and it's uh, you know, very, very valuable. And again, he, he takes a lot of pride in it, and uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, it was a great accomplishment for him to, to get that record. And I'm really, really proud of him. I think he has. We asked him to, and he's, Jeremy's kind of our, uh, I guess if you had to put a word to it, more of like, I guess they call it the alpha guy. You know, he's kind of that personality. Uh, he's extremely competitive and extremely tough, and he's all about trying to win, which is great to have. And so we asked him to get to be a little bit more vocal. You need to make sure you're talking to the guys and leading uh, a lot more than last year. He's really trying to do that, but it's kind of who he is uh, by nature. Uh, you know, he's kind of that louder, more boisterous guy, and he's done a really good job. But he's also a guy, uh, guys will follow him because he's such a hard worker, uh, tremendously hard worker. I don't know that he's ever had a bad practice since he's been here at Weber State. He's a high energy guy, loves to compete. No matter what it is, he's trying to win. And from that standpoint, uh, he gives us as much leadership from that by example as he does verbally but uh, but he's been a great kid to coach and he's doing a nice job this year having a pretty good season. Um, I feel like we're more a little bit more experienced this year I mean last year uh, we were a little bit younger and I mean we're still young this year but I mean I'm a junior Rashad, Kendall, Joel and that just brings more experience to the table. Um, it's just something uh, having the season we had last year I realized that I had to do more of uh, knowing I was going to be a veteran on this team and uh, something Coach Ray just kept Riping on me on, like just getting better, getting more consistent, and leaving the team. Um, it's very, it's very difficult. I mean, at home you got to protect home court, and other teams feel the same way. So we're on the road. I mean, it's a, it's a tough battle every time. And at home they come at us every time, like they come at us hard every time because it's where we were stayed, and they want to play, they want to beat us here. So every team's just very competitive. Um, it's a lot of confidence. I mean, he, he's a great rebounder and a, a great player as well. And I mean, he's more on the quiet side, but he's a, he's a very good leader too. He sh he's more of a he shows it on the court, and we also have a lot of other good rebounders like Kendall, Zach. So, I mean, just having those people, players around you, and shooters like Dusty, McKay, Ryan, all those shooters around you, it's just, it's, it just helps a lot. Um, I, I feel like 
I mean, neutral court, that's, that's just going to be more fun. I mean, we get to travel, and I like traveling, and it's just something every team has an advantage, you know. Nobody has an advantage if they're at home, so it's just neutral. So every team, you just go at it. That's how I feel. Well, no doubt everybody would like to get one. I mean, it saves you some, obviously, some energy, some legs. But uh, so I think that's what you shoot for is to try to get that first round by and then give yourself an extra day. You know, obviously, that's what you want to do. Uh, it's going to be hard. You know, we'll see where it lands, you know, ends up. But uh, I think it'd be nice for everybody. That's what they're probably looking at. Let's get to that spot. But even if you don't, um, you know, I've been doing this a while and you get to those tournaments, sometimes the guys that play the first nights, they, they get a win on the first night of the tournament. They get all the nervousness now out, and they got some confidence. And you can make a heck of a run coming from the you know from the bottom half, per se, uh, to go win that tournament. I think it's going to be a very wide open tournament, more so now because we're playing neutral. Uh, and you just don't count anybody out when you get over to a tournament because anything can happen, and you got to look at you know a million things can happen, injuries and crazy stuff, and guy who gets hot. So. I think it'll be uh, interesting, but everybody would like to try to be in the top four if they could. Um, we're going to have to be hungry. I mean, we've been hungry this whole season, and we kind of let up a little bit, and that's not what we do. That's not what our program does. So we just got to stay hungry. Every game, go at, go at it like it is the championship and play our hardest every game to stay hungry. That's what we're going to have to do.